Hey there, this is the Japanese Retro Game Center with another YouTube video. Uh, as you saw on Twitter, or, if, or as you should have seen on Twitter, if you follow me at, at Japan Retro Games, you would have seen that I had a uh, big day retro game hunting. I even threw up a couple pictures. Um, a couple, what is this game sort of thing, with pictures. Um, so I did that, and now I'm going to show off some of it. This is, this is probably not even half of it. This is like a third of it, I guess. Um, I went to a couple places. I went to a couple different recycle shops. One more popular one, one not so popular one. So sometimes at the not so popular one, you can find stuff. Um, so all of this is from one, and I have one more surprise over here. All right, over here, right? So that's my teaser right there. Uh, we'll look at that in a minute. First, we'll get through the regular pickups. Um, this store not as popular, especially for retro game um, picking up retro games, but it is kind of a otaku store if you want to call it that. They had like characters and DVDs and um, basic cool stuff, all the cool stuff. Yokai, right? Yokai medals, cards, all that stuff. Um, adult goods, I guess, too. All right, so not that I would ever browse those. Anyway, or that they put it right beside the games. So here are the games I picked up. They had like a kind of a two for one, depending on what price it was. I think they had like a two for one deal. So Game Boy, that's the Japanese Pokemon Silver. So I have a bunch of those. Why not? Why not get the fiftieth one? Um, I have a few of these too. Kirby's. Uh, this is Koro Koro Kirby. So Kirby's Tilt and Tumble. So here's the Japanese version. Um, again, region free, but you have to have a Game Boy Color, of course, and um, the one game basically that uses the tilt. Here we have N64. So Mario 64 and Paper Mario Mario Story. So pick those up. Let's get a Famicom, alright, Mario 3, looking good, Dragon Spirit, it's a pretty fun game, and it's a, and it's a cheap pickup, so, is that, Donkey Kong, it's a little faded, the Pulse label, Donkey Kong, um, this was what, Gunjin Shogi, right, so, some kind of Shogi game, haven't played it, this is going into my collection, everything else I've mentioned so far, is, uh, yeah, it'll be on eBay, or, hey, contact me if you want to pick it up before I put it on eBay. And Athletic World. So, I think I have one with the power pad on, is it on eBay? It's either on eBay or it's on, I think it's on my main site, japanretrogames.com. So you can look at there. And, or sometimes I have on Etsy, too, some of the retro stuff. So, Take a look, and I have an extra copy here, so I'll do something with that in the future. Super Famicom, Pilot Wings, okay. Dragon Ball Z, Super Butoden 3, Chibi Maruko-chan. If you don't know Chibi Maruko-chan, you should definitely look it up. Um, it's a good way to learn Japanese if you want, because it's a slower pace for younger children, like late kindergarten, elementary school age. So you can pick up a lot of Japanese with that. It's a good show. Um, it's it's Japan. You want to talk about Japanese culture, right? Chibi Monoko Chan's part of that. Here's the first Dragon Ball Z Super Buton. Great fighting game. Um, even convinced my Japanese cousins to uh, drop their 3DSs for a bit and play this, and they were really into that. Um, Ultraman, Ultraman, the worst fighting game ever, almost. So Yoshi's Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Yoshi Island, right? Uh, multiplay volleyball. I'm pretty sure this one with that one is going to be added to my collection. So slowly and surely, I build up with those titles. FF5, Star Fox, and Mario Kart. So, um, pretty typical, pretty normal stuff. But at least uh, if you haven't seen it before, you now see what the Japanese versions look like, or some Japan only games, right? like that. Okay, now. For the big deal, this was at the other shop, the main shop, and I usually don't pick up non-video game stuff, but this does count as a Japanese retro game, does it not? This is Super Donkey Kong 2, Dixie and Diddy, Game Collection 21, Game Collection Nijuchi. So, it's huge, as you can see it takes up a uh, comparison, right? That's a Super Famicom game. Here's this freaking thing. Alright. So, it's a big collection, as you can see right here, a big collection of board games for two to four players. And you should be over four years old to play this, by the way. Okay. Made by Epoch, right? 
so good uh, good company make a lot of Doraemon stuff and other the there's old school like baseball games and they do a lot of that stuff so good company so here is the box so this is huge um, it's like oh I have to have this when I saw it so let me walk around it's easier if I walk around and show you Let's see, the box has some damage, so here's the case. It actually is so big it has its own like um, handle there. So it's torn a bit there, which makes sense. It's a cardboard box and yeah, it's gonna get torn right there. Some damage here. I think there was some damage on the corner. Yeah, right here. So a little bit of damage, but that's, that's to be expected with an almost 20 year old box. So that's been ruffled around through recycle shops in Japan. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see if we can open this. So it just opens up. It's gonna open up with one hand here. Oh. So there had a flap right here. So it had a couple. Let's see if I can get it right here. There, it had a couple flaps there, but if that's already broken, it doesn't help much. There we go. Box. Here is the box. All right, we have the cardboard, cardboard filler. All right, so we have all these pieces. So the first thing you see right here are the Donkey Kong characters. There's, there's two sets of their, their tiles, right? So game tiles, like for Mahjong or whatever. And let's get a close up on here. So it has all your it has some enemies and, of course, the main characters and some of the friends that help. And this is, again, this is based off of Donkey Kong Country 2, uh, called Super Donkey Kong 2 in Japan. Let's see. Let's move that out of the way. Here we had a bunch of pieces. Um, I think they're coins. There are cards. That one's like, you can't move. There was like, you can't move and you can move pieces. And then, what kinds of chips? Whatever you want to call them. Um, of course, somebody threw this in there. Hello Kitty bag. So, they put the more poker style chips in a separate bag. Let's see. This is the box. It's empty. And it had the contents in there, but it was much easier to put them in those bags like that than this. So, there it shows what pieces you're supposed to have. I didn't check through everything, see if every single piece is there. hope it is. I saw something... Yeah, so all the pieces all right, all right there, what's left anyway. Here's the manual. So this goes through the games. Um, so there were 21 games. All right, there's 16. All right, Taru Taru Adventure Game or something, right? Um, so there are a bunch of different games. This teaches you how to play them. Of course, you can tell. Oh, okay, that's checkers, all right? Okay, they had some checkers, and they had uh, Chinese checkers, um, like chess sort of thing. Um, Othello, they had like an Othello kind of game. And then, so there's these games, of course. They had a bunch of games with the tiles. And with the Mahjong style game, so the Jadapong, Jadapong game. Jadapong, right? Um, so it goes through the point system right here. That shows you how to do that. All right, two cards are the same to keep score. And of course, we have the board pieces. So it has. Sorry, I took a look for myself before I showed it to you. So, all right, there's the Chinese checkers board. Okay. And this was like a puzzle game. So, like, go to each era, right? Use your dice and go around. Checkers, all right, here's our checkerboard, right here, okay, which one was this? So there's another game, did not learn how to play this game, but it looks like you can use the tiles and other pieces. There, Kopito, Kopito game, okay. So, here's another game, here's another board, right here. Games, games, all right. Try to get to the middle of the game. Kind of looks like uh, looks like the game Trouble, like the old game Trouble. So turn it into a flat board game, I guess. 
And this is another like chess or checkers, but then it had two like hills here, right? In the middle there. There's another game here. It has hint cards, I guess. Okay. So that. Go to a hundred. Is this like a Okay, bananas and barrels or something, right? Since the shoots and ladders. Bananas and barrels. That works. Okay, kind of a crisscross game. Go to the goal. I guess don't land on the rats. I guess it's the game of that. Let's see. There's another kind of shoots and ladders esque game right there. The board for it. Looks like a dirt board. Huh? So, there's another game like that. And something with coins. Starting goal and banana coins. Yeah, fun stuff. And um, also this piece right here. So this is the big bad boy right here. Oh, the box is fall. Hold on. There we go. Alright. So this big board right here. For the Mahjong and other like games. Right there. Or you can just play cards on it or something. So, there you go. That is that. So that's a huge piece. Um, Yeah, I'll have this on. What will I have this on? Mm, if I don't put it in my store, if I don't put it in my eBay store, it'll be on uh, Etsy probably. So, uh, take a look if you're interested in it. Let me know. I will definitely sell this. Definitely a cool piece, but not my thing. I don't have, don't have a place to put it, really. So, it's not an actual Super Famicom game, so... That's that. Those were some pickups. I'll have another video with some more pickups later, hopefully. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. All right. Thanks again. See you.